All right, how's everyone doing? I'm Rich Cholenza. Thanks for visiting the Rich Cholenza Show. WTF are you talking about? I'm with Rhea Lukes. Hi. So uh, we're in Chicago right now actually doing this podcast. And one of the questions I think we both get asked a lot about is Florida Beach resorts. Towns. Towns, uh, where they should visit, Mm -hmm. where they would like to retire, or places they've been to that they like to just discuss. Uh, so Rhea, I think is an expert in this field, so I definitely have to, uh, get her involved in this podcast. So let's start off with Rhea. First of all, what are your favorite beach towns in Florida? Uh, I love Sarasota, Naples, Fort Myers, Destin, Tampa Bay, uh, Jack's Beach, even Melbourne, Merritt, uh, Daytona Beach. It isn't really my favorite, but it's a destination you have to go to if you're on that side of the coast. Mm. And down south, I do mm. enjoy um, Fort Lauderdale, Miami Beach. And I think really that's a lot of it. Vero's good too. I used to have a store in Vero. So Coco's great, uh, which is in between. Um, it's near Merritt mm-hmm. uh, Island. So yeah. Yes, yeah, so we live currently in Orlando. She <laughs> used to live in Jacksonville. Mm-hmm. She's, uh, I, I basically lived in Florida since I was 18 years old, and then I lived in San Diego area. Um, but Rhea also, one of the reasons uh, she knows the area so well, too, is because with her work, she travels to a bunch of different beach towns as mm-hmm. well. So not only does she go there for work, but she spends the night, sometimes more than one night there, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. But let's break this down because you kind of went rampant, and I like that. Let's start off with Clearwater. Why uh, a lot of people now talk, I think, really about Clearwater more than a lot of other places being on the coast, the west, being pretty. What do you think about that? I don't think it's one of, I mean, I think people think it's one of the best. Uh, I like it, but to be very honest with you, I think there are better beach towns than Clearwater. Mm -hmm. Clearwater is um, near north of St. Pete. Mm -hmm. I think St. Pete is actually better. Uh, I don't. I, I personally, I don't know. I don't see the the draw to Clearwater. That's all I'm saying. It's near the airport. Uh, I think it's just I think easy to get to. The color of the to. ocean and maybe the white sands. Would you yeah, but say? you get that in St. Pete too. Of course. No, yeah. I'm saying people that don't know this, but when they do go yeah. there, they're kind of caught up on that Gulf well, that side whole, thing. Well, it looks so different. But all of the Gulf side is white beaches. Of course. So all of that from the Panhandle, Destin, Panama City Beach, all the way down to Tampa Bay, to. Clearwater, St. Pete, that's all white sand. Even right. all the way down to Naples, you get white sand. So that Gulf Coast, uh, I like better than the east side of the state. And the east side of the state, I know we'll get there in a minute, is mm-hmm. where I grew up. But now we spend a lot of time on the west side. Right. So um, Clearwater, it's okay. It's near the airport in Tampa. I would move on. <laughs> I think there's right. I think there's better resort towns. Uh, uh, you know, the starting north, the Panhandle, which is Panama City Beach, um, and Destin. Uh, mm-hmm. I think those two areas for people coming from the north or the Midwest are easy to get to. Yes, uh, they're not. I don't think as expensive as absolutely going further down south correct and you get a really nice uh resort beachy town it's it caters to a lot of uh <clears throat> a lot of tourists uh, i used to go to destin a lot so there and the are, weather there is a little more mild compared to if you go south further south from destin what you say uh yeah but they get a lot of the storms so right now yes. for instance with the storms that are going on in uh new orleans uh, that that tropical storm, uh, I would say they get hit really hard. So Panama City Beach last year was basically wiped out. Right. So I would say um, the weather is better down south than it is in the uh, on the Panhandle. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, definitely less, a lot cheaper. It's Redneck Riviera is what it is. I mean, That's it's really hillbilly. Hillbilly I mean, Riviera. Really, yeah, it's hillbilly. <laughs> you know, the further south you go, I think the more money. Uh, and culture you get to be very honest with you and i'm not i'm not digging anyone who who is living in any of these areas but to, it's, it's still beautiful it's, yeah it's still gorgeous so yeah and i think a lot of people for the most part and i may be wrong they went to well, our generation a lot of them went to daytona beach right or then right. they did fort lauderdale boca pompano yeah and that's when they think of florida beaches 
or they went to Clearwater. I'm just using for another example. They sure. don't really realize how many beaches there are now, how these towns are kind of have grown. Right. Um, or they've done South Beach, obviously, or went to the Keys, right? I right. Mean, I'm, I'm right. just kind of right. throwing right. what right. most people. Right. Um, I was just following so your the geography. De- absolutely. You're, that's a great example because my family now, my cousins, they like to go to um, Destin in those areas because they Easy. can drive from Chicago. Right. You know, when, it's it's just a lot less driving. And like I said, the weather sometimes, it's a little more, it's milder mm-hmm. a lot of times. Mm-hmm. But then again, be careful because it's not like, say, South Florida where you're going to go and you're going to get good weather all the time or at least get a lot of sun where those areas you may not. Um, we also used to, what do you think about these um, areas? Because we used to go to them a lot in Orlando. So like Cocoa Beach, for instance, New Smyrna Beach. I've never gone to New Smyrna. You've gone there. Mm-hmm. Um Coco's nice. It's a little sleepier town. It's a lot of retirees. So you get a lot of, you get retirees on both sides, but I would say the East Coast uh, typically uh, has, is more sleepy. So Merritt Island, which is near Coco Beach, uh, Melbourne, Vero, those are a lot of older retirees, slow paced, um, you know, not a lot to do. Uh, they're uh, not metropolitan at all. So I don't think there truly is a lot of draw to that area. It's the only thing for Cocoa Beach is probably because um, the Space Kennedy Space Center mm-hmm. is there. So that's the the draw there. But I would say, to be honest with you, those areas, no. I would say Jack's Beach. Um, I think those areas up north are hidden treasures because I grew mm-hmm. up there. Right. So you have St. Augustine also up north. Uh, there are beautiful beaches and resorts up there mm-hmm. that I don't think a lot of people think about. And that's a port also like Merritt Island that uh, houses the cruise ships going in and out of. So um, that's that's what I like about going north. But the those, those outside of, I mean, I think those are easy to get to, like you were talking about Coco and all that from Orlando. Right. So if you fly into Orlando... Uh, and you're visiting Disney or Universal or whatever, those beaches, Daytona, Coco, are like 45 minutes away. Right. So that's why they're easy. Where if you have to go to the other side of the state where Clearwater, for example, you keep talking about, I mean, that's going to be two hours away. Right. Well, they do do cruises, as you know, if you know, out of the other areas. I don't right. think a lot of people know that near Coco Beach. Merritt Island is Merritt there. Merritt Island is where the headquarters, I should say, which is right near there. Which is the port, yeah. Yeah, which is the port there. And what I tell people a lot of times, if you want to move, the, a lot of people I know talk about retiring and moving to Florida. Mm-hmm. And they usually bring up places that are very expensive. And they, you know, right. they truly can't afford it. Right. Even Daytona's getting more and more money. You have Ormond Beach. But you may consider Cocoa Beach, those type of quiet, quaint towns, because you could still come into Orlando oh, because yeah. there's a Absolutely. ton to do. Mm-hmm. And the condos are going to be, or homes or whatever, half, mm-hmm. maybe even less. Right. So don't get caught up. And I, I hear this all the time with people saying, I, if I move to Florida, I only want to live on Marco Island, hypothetically. Or I only want to live in South Beach. Or I need to be in Lauderdale, Boca, pa, whatever. If you don't have family there, don't get caught up in that. I mean, some beach areas or some beach towns, as you know, are, are, are way better than others. We get it. But go with what you can afford is basically what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. So what do you think? Let's go a little further south because I know a lot of people like to talk about that is South Beach now. Mm-hmm. You know, we've been going there, going there for years. Mm-hmm. What do you think the strengths and weaknesses? I think basically? it's overrated. Really? I think South Beach is overrated. <clears throat> um, I think it's a great place to go visit for some of the history with Miami Beach and all that. The restaurants are, they have great restaurants. The culture is good. There's a lot of South American, Hispanic, Puerto Rican um, influence. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it's overcrowded. Um, I I do. I think it's it's overrated, to be honest with you. I think there are much more beautiful uh, beach towns in Florida than going down south to Miami. I think if you're younger... Absolutely. Right. Go visit. But if you want to retire, absolutely not. I don't think that that's the place <laughs> to go. don't think the traffic, the parking. Yeah, the traffic, horrible. It's not very, I mean, I, I think it's a nice place to visit. Mm. Um, <clears throat> if you want to, it's not easy. I mean, yeah, there's some, you know, great hotels right on the beach. I've mm-hmm. stayed right on the beach. 
um, you know, restaurant town. It's touristy. It's fun. But I, I think, to be honest with you, I think it's overrated. Yeah, I think the water's beautiful and the people are beautiful. Yeah, well, it's uh, a great place to people watch. Absolutely. Because absolutely. It's, I mean, if you're, like I said, if you are younger, go for it. Nightlife, great. But for someone to want to retire in that area, no. I think you need to go more north. <laughs> yeah, it is a great place to visit. And like we were just saying, that it's it's hard to beat. There's men and women, probably some of the most beautiful women, not only in our country, probably in the damn world, in one area, in that area. You know, yeah. I think it's just, it's a very unique place mm-hmm. to go to. Um, we're kind of spoiled. We've been going there for so many years. Mm-hmm. But it's definitely a place, if you come to Florida, you may want to check out. No place like it. The nightclubs, especially like what she's talking about, you're talking open all night and mm-hmm. they party all night. Mm-hmm. Nothing is like that except maybe Vegas. So I would put on par if you're looking to party your ass off, Vegas and South Florida. They're yeah. the bomb. Right. I mean, you can't beat it. Okay, Naples. Yeah. Comes up a lot. Mm-hmm. I'd say, uh, well, maybe because I have a lot of family in Chicago. Regardless, when I travel, I'd say, I don't know what's going on with Naples. Your sister lives in Naples. Mm-hmm. It's near Benina Springs, right? Well, Benina Springs is a... Uh, Tell me how that works. Is, well, what? Benina Springs is like a, a, a town outside of Naples. We go there sometimes, right? Or no, drive through don't. there? No. Oh, we, we didn't? No. I My don't sister re- lives in Benina Springs. No. Oh, okay. Because I don't remember being there. No. Because I was wondering. I was asking that because people kept bringing that up. I don't know why people bring that up. It's because it's outside <clears throat> of Naples. It's more affordable to live. I got so That's they, just they why. want to do you Naples. Can't, yeah, you can't live. Naples proper is extremely expensive because it's the beach town. So there's a lot of money there. Bonita Springs is a little, you know, outside of, uh, it's a little bit more rural. Uh, it's if more family, that's where all the schools are. If that's where you want to live, sure. that's it. If you want a condo or a, an apartment near the beach, then Naples, but it, it is expensive and it's season. So we haven't talked about season yet. So that's when a lot of, uh, snowbirds come down mm-hmm. uh, to escape the winters and that's when prices triple so right now in the heat of the summer i can stay in naples for about a hundred dollars right uh come december january february it's three hundred dollars yeah. so yeah and it gets very crowded and busy but yeah i like naples yeah, Naples is interesting. If you're from Chicago, it seems like a lot of people that I know from Chicago go to Naples or they like mm-hmm. to go to Marco Island. I'm not sure why. That's just who I know. Mm-hmm. And a lot of New Yorkers are up key, up East Coast, I should say, Boston, all that, Philly. I don't They seem to like to go to Boca Pompano, Lauderdale. Oh, yeah. Well, and, yeah, because that's more yeah. north. That's older. Right. right. In my family, a lot of them have condos in Lauderdale, Boca, uh, Boca Pompano as well. But Naples really, I I, tell, I think we've done videos, if you ever check them yeah. out on YouTube, but the town, I don't think a lot of people realize how early these towns shut down. Yeah, these, yeah, a lot of these do. I mean, um, 8 o'clock. Yeah, like downtown, yeah, downtown like we're talking eight downtown. 8 o'clock, yeah, Dur- off season. Correct. Off season. off season. Even during season, maybe nine. I mean, th- these are not places to go for nightlife. Right. These are places to go to the resorts. Um I used to go to the uh, Waldorf Astoria right on the beach uh, in Naples. Mm-hmm. Um, they changed owners. It's not a Waldorf anymore. I can't remember. The, it's a private uh, beach club now. Right. But um, that's where you want to go to relax, you know. And then if you – or it's a nice pit stop on your way down to the Keys, right. I would say. So – but it, it's, it's beautiful. Yeah, they got a beautiful mall, Waterside. Waterside Shops. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then what's the other mall? Coastland. There? Yeah, coastline. So, like she says, if you're going to travel to Florida, may, just kind of go on different... You'd be shocked going just a different week or a different month how much money you can save. Right. We just had friends recently that did um, went all the way down to the Keys, and then they stopped on their way back to Orlando in Sarasota. Mm-hmm. You know, and I think that that's a great way, you know, to break up your trip. Right. Um, you know, I, I don't know if... Some people want to stay one whole week in a, res- a beach resort. I think right. that that's too long. I think you should break it. Long weekends are great. Um, so anyway. Maybe pick a side, too. I talked about that when I lived mm-hmm. in San Diego. Well, California, you got one side. Mm-hmm. So I'd say go into San Diego or Coronado and just work your way all the way up to Santa Barbara because mm-hmm. there are so many. people do that, yeah. Yeah, and in Florida, you might want to do that as well. Pick one side. Yeah. And kind of just go up the coast. 
and just, you know, if you want to spend a couple nights here, a couple nights there, not kind of constantly crisscross across the state of Florida. No, it's, I, that is the biggest misconception. Do not do that. Yeah. And it was, it was, yeah, yeah funny story. So, uh, a couple of years ago, our boss wanted to do a trip with my partner and I, who works down in Miami right. and wanted to do, you know, Miami and what, and then the other side of the state. And we were like, no. It is the state of Florida is big. It and is wide. huge and wide. I drove it hundreds. Yeah, of times. exactly. So yeah, they think it's a, a three-hour drive. Sometimes that three hours could be six, seven hours just oh, going from one side to the other. Again, depending. Right, even Tampa, <laughs> Orlando to Tampa, a couple Correct. times. Sometimes it's taken me four hours to get home. So, you know, and, yeah, and that's, construction. So, yeah, right. definitely pick a side, you know, um, and even the beaches. And there's so much great history. I love, um, we haven't even talked about St. Pete. I love St. Mm-hmm. Pete better than Clearwater. Right. Um, the, the Don Cesar is a famous resort. They mm-hmm. call it the Pepto-Bismol um, Castle or something like that because right. the building is pink. And the beaches right there, there's great public beaches. They're clean um they're well maintained um and i'm not saying clearwater isn't but i think st pete is just it's it's easier it's a it's a fun town um and sarasota sarasota i love uh, is one of my favorites uh if you watch one of our videos we visited um amish an amish area in sarasota yeah but we like it there we like it there but the coast is great because there's a lot of history there with salvador dali there's a Dolly Museum, the Ringling Brothers Museum. Yes. Um, the a lot of places to stay, great restaurants in Sarasota. Again, a, a, a big retirement community, and then further south from there. And is, your favorite gelato? Yeah. Oh yeah, I do like. No. Isn't it? What was that? No, that's oh, that St. Pete. It. That's St. Pete. That's I'm Saint sorry, Pete. guys. That's okay. And then um, Fort Myers is really um, another great place to stay. And the next time I want to go down to Fort Myers, yeah. we've never hit the downtown area to walk around. Um, and that's a mm-hmm. great place um, I've heard to go visit. So, And that's just north of Naples. Yeah, Fort Myers is beautiful. Mm-hmm. Another They're town that, yeah, that shuts down. And here's, here's a little quick note. This, I'm not positive if this is correct or not. I just heard it recently that Florida now, population-wise, is number three in North America. Mm. Uh, so it's California, Texas now, Florida. Don't underestimate coming to Florida now with driving, with even if you plan on moving here, a lot of people are moving there. Mm. It's just, it's a different environment. If you haven't been there in a few years, I would say in the last, what, four or five years, it's really exploded. Mm-hmm. Really exploded. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to kind of uh, hit you with some beaches here. I don't want us to get too nuts. I'm going to try to stump you too. Okay. We already talked about Clearwater. Mm-hmm. We didn't talk about Panama City Beach. Do you know much about this beach? I was just talking about it earlier. Besides what, anything else? No, because I never really, I never really spent, so I would drive Any past additional? Panama City. Um, I think Panama City Beach and um, Destin, there's a lot of military influence there. It's the Panhandle. Yeah, and then Pensacola beach yeah navy yeah military yeah really affordable to go to again correct what mm-hmm. you're saying yeah the panhandle yeah mm-hmm. that's all up on that north northwest yeah and again if you want to drive in you don't you know also back to florida how big it is you might want to stop up there especially if you're driving in from it could be wherever the midwest because a lot of people when you hit there you don't realize if you're going to Fort Lauderdale or going further south, you literally have another seven, eight hours to drive. The trip is, I'm not saying it's double, but it is a lot more. So you may consider start hitting beaches that are up there instead of all the way down. Mm-hmm. Right? Right. Sanibel Island? Yeah. What do you think? That's pretty. Is it? No, see, I'm just trying to, we already talked about Cocoa Shells. Beach, mm-hmm. Daytona. Mm-hmm. Yeah, shells the rest, right? You're talking no, no, about? no, I'm talking about the shells in San oh, the Island. Yeah. yeah. Great for seashell hunters. Do you know Bahai Honda Key? No. I don't either. That was very interesting. So Siesta Key? I've never been. I've never been. It's supposed to be gorgeous. Mm-hmm. I don't know this beach, Kaladasi Island. No, now you're talking about some really well, that's what I yeah, wanted to no, just see. I'm no just idea. seeing I don't either. It's, I'm just Are you looking. pronouncing it correctly? <clears throat> I probably not. Uh, C A 
L A D E S I Island. Just mm-hmm. looks very Caladesi. interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Amelia Island. Yeah, Amelia Island's neat. So Amelia yeah. Island is north, and I have been there. So they have the Concourse de la Gance, um every year, which is a wonderful auto show. Mm. Uh, Jay Leno um, usually participates in that. It's really pretty. It's plantations. Um, they actually have a turkey shoot in that island every fall. I love Amelia right. Island. It's really cool. Pla- you know, if you want to see old school plantations, that's a really neat place. It's um, north of um, Jacksonville. I like Amelia Island. I've been there. Yeah, my father does car shows with his car. He's a 1980 Zimmer, mm-hmm. and they invite him to that every year. I don't know if he's taken his car there or not, but that car show was supposed to look, it's, you it's, said. It's a, um, a huge national, ride. yeah. Concourse d'Elegance, yeah. Delray Beach we didn't talk about. Mm-hmm. Very interesting, right? What do you think about that beach? I think that's grown a lot. Mm-hmm. Delray's grown, yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. One thing before I forget, I don't see it on here. Jupiter? Oh, yeah, Jupiter's cool. Very interesting. Yeah, but there's, I, I don't there's know. There's not a lot to do. No, it's, um, you know, I think Jupiter, people, I think, when I think of Jupiter, I think of Tiger Woods, you know. Oprah. Oprah, Serena Williams. Jordan. Yeah, Williams. Serena. Yeah, yeah. So if people live out there. Um, I don't I don't know if it's necessarily a destination place to go. Yeah, I would go. There used to be a great place. Me and Rhea would eat lunch there. But yeah, I went out of business. Yeah. Right. You When you're driving, if you want, I would say that might be one of the places you just stop to have lunch or dinner. I wouldn't revolve my... I wouldn't even I, stay there. I keep driving. Yeah, it's almost... Well, what do you think about Bradington Beach? I have no idea. I just drive by it. Oh, really? Because I went to tennis camp there. I thought it was beautiful. Oh, yeah. Anyways, I spent two weeks in Bradington. Uh, that's where uh, Nick Voluntary Tennis Academy was, so I got to spend a lot of time there. I thought it was beautiful. Anyways, just threw it out there. Del Rey, Lauderdale, we talked about Siesta Key. Uh, Hollywood Beach, interesting. We didn't bring that one up, Rhea. Well, that's between, it's just north of Fort Lauderdale. So if you, Fort Lauderdale, you know, you have your typical Fort Lauderdale, and then you have a lot of different smaller beaches up and down and around. So Hollywood has a casino there. Mm-hmm. Um, uh place uh, you know i it's again it's a lot of retirees so yeah, whatever. definitely sleepy yeah anna maria anna maria island i've never been but yeah i don't know if i've been there or not i if i did i don't remember marco island mm-hmm. what do you think i mean i brought that up briefly uh I my cousin that. had a destination wedding there i don't know i've never been so i can't speak to it really a lot of my friends for some reason on facebook go to marco island nothing against it it's very nice there was a breakfast but i a lot of nice hotels I think it was like a it was a place everybody talked about before, mm. like in the two thousands. But these other towns, I think now just are destroying it. Mm. Nothing against Marco Island, right? Very pretty visually. Anyways, that's just my opinion. Uh, Pensacola. So uh, what? How do you say this one? Keep this one, Marie. I screw this one up. Something. Key, Key Biscayne. Yeah. That's down near Miami. Yeah, I don't have. I don't know if I've been there or not. This is quite interesting. Never heard. Cap, Captiva Island. Yeah, I've heard of that. I've never been there. I never heard. Okay, we got New Smyrna. We already talked about uh, Bill Baggs, Cape Florida State Park. Don't know. Uh, we talked about Naples. Palm Beach, obviously. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about Palm Beach. I like West Palm. Um, I think Palm Beach is a really uh, nice mm-hmm. place to stay. It's really, it's north of Boca. Yeah. Um, I would, pr- I prefer Palm Beach over Boca, uh, Palm Beach has mm-hmm. a lot of um, nice restaurants. It's clean. Um, I don't know. It's cultural. I, I don't know. It's oh, it's, it's very, very it's nice. white. It's very it's very white. It's very, <laughs> it has a touch of California flavor to me. No, sometimes. I mean, but it's white. I mean, if you, I mean, I'm just gonna be, you know, I'm gonna oh, throw yeah. it out there. You know, because the further south you go, you go to Miami. It's very <laughs> south. Like I said, South American Latin flavor. Of course, you go to Palm Beach. It's um, white. Uh, I think that, uh, you know, Trump is there, which, blah, whatever. And whatever. Then, and then um, the thing about Palm Beach, Boca is heavily influenced with um, uh, the Jewish culture. So, you know, it's really interesting, a lot of these pockets. And a lot of in these areas are on the east side. But I do, I like Palm Beach. Yeah, and David, I heard something funny lately that, you know, the there's Palm Beach, obviously West Palm, right? Mm-hmm. If you made it, you were in Palm Beach. Mm-hmm. If you were trying to make it, you were in West Palm. But they're saying now the billionaires, wait, no. Yeah, the billionaires in Palm Beach are kicking out the millionaires. 
<laughs> so, because West Palm Beach now is becoming very expensive as well. Mm-hmm. It's almost like you got to be a millionaire to go live in a mansion or whatever. In West Palm, you got to be a billionaire to go live in Palm Beach, mm-hmm. which it's ridiculous. I'm just saying it's mm-hmm. a joke type mm-hmm. thing. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I like Palm Beach as well. Santa Rosa Beach. I don't know that beach. Do you? Mm-mm. All righty here. We talked about St. Pete's. Oh, St. Augustine, right? I did. I talked about St. Augustine. Yeah, you know, in St. Augustine, they have a nice, a couple things. They have a butterfly festival. (laughs) But they have the oldest school. Mm -hmm. Schoolhouse in the United States. They have the fort there. Um, They have the alligator farm. I I like St. Augustine. Um, There's a lot of history uh, which explains a lot of Florida history. A lot of history of our nation mm. comes out of St. Augustine that I think that people forget. Um, it's a great place to uh, visit. Uh, just I think there's a lot of culture there. I like the, I, That's where we used to go, St. Augustine Beach and Jack's Beach growing up. Yeah, it's really nice there. Uh, mm. Just the, what's, It's just old, it's old school. Mm. Venice Beach, my father has a friend that lives there mm. uh, on the west side again. I didn't know much about that, but I guess it's a fishing town. Hmm, I didn't know. I don't know much about that either. So, um, one more thing here I was going to do with you, Rhea, that I saw that was quite... In- oh, yeah. One thing is, don't underestimate swimming in the ocean. There are a ton of sharks in Florida. It's on the east, on the east side. Yeah, on the east side mainly. Especially the Inlet, New Smyrna, Coco, Daytona. There's a lot. So... Do not underestimate that. What are those things? What are those other things, Rhea, that bite you? Those uh, those white things. I forget the name of that fish or whatever that is. They sting you. Stingray. Not a stingray. That whether they wrap around your arm or whatever, they float. I forgot what the hell. Jellyfish. Yeah, jellyfish. Don't they have a lot of those as well? I don't swim in the ocean I don't. in Florida anymore, but I thought they you used to. You don't go to the beach. You don't like the beach. I'm this t- is the funniest thing. Uh, this is hilarious that we're even doing this podcast because he doesn't even like the beach. No, I love being near the beach, you not like, in the beach. Correct. So this is the funniest it's thing. Big because, difference. Well, but he will not go on the beach, which is the fun- I don't like sand exactly. necessarily. That's I will I'm go saying. on the beach if I have to. <laughs> That's why it's so funny to me. Like, the you know, this is... It, his closest thing is to get at a restaurant right on the rails looking outside at the beach. This is what I am. Oh I am. God. Stop. I am a hotel <laughs> beach guy. Like, even when I lived in California oh my with my God. cousin in Carlsbad, so I, like the, I like the hotel that's with the pool. I'm on the pool, but I see the ocean. That's what I like. I don't need to be on the beach. So that's why I have to talk about these because I've actually been on the beaches. On the be- but I've been to the beach towns. A majority of what you're talking about. I know, We've but people been want. But people want to know. Oh, of course, you. That's why I have you here. That's so funny. This is why. Uh, what else? Oh, we didn't talk really about the keys, but the keys is beautiful if you love fishing. If you love, excuse me, I'm belching a breakfast. Um. What do you think? You've been in the Keys. I've spent some time there. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. A lot of mosquitoes. Be very aware if you go in the well, summer. Yeah, summertime. Scuba's unbelievable there. Again, I've never done it. But. <laughs> Hillbilly Riviera again. That's another nickname for him. No, I like. I enjoyed the Keys. I went with my girlfriends last October. Um, there's a lot to do. I think if you were to go anywhere for a, a longer vacation, definitely the Keys are great. Um, I did a bike tour. Um, the southernmost point of um, Florida or the states is um, down in the Keys, uh, Key Lime Pie. That's where you know yeah. it originated. Um, I really, really enjoyed um, Hemingway. Um, had a huge influence. There's a lot of culture in the Keys. I really, really um, like that. I really want to bring the kids back, but a lot to do, a lot, and you know, good seafood down there. Um, you feel the, like you're in another the beach, part of the world. Right. The beaches, I mean, I don't know. This was one area of the beach I went to, I think, um, wasn't as um, clean as I would have liked, to be mm. honest with you. But I'm sure there are other areas in the Keys that are uh, better. Uh, that was just, you know, we mainly did a bike tour and then we, we, hit, we rode the uh, bikes uh, right near the beach. So, uh, but really, really neat. Uh, easy to get around. Um, walking. You don't need a car down there. No. Um, and I've actually flown into that airport also. Very small. So, you know, for anyone who wants to drive there, it is a long drive. Uh, flights uh, in Florida, very inexpensive. So, yeah. anyway. 
Yeah, they have, again, I'm back on butterflies. I have no idea why. They have a butterfly museum there, which mm. is very beautiful, actually. And what else was I going to say about the keys? Uh, you can, a lot of those um, cruises stop in the keys for a day. Yeah, that's what we did. Yeah, so that may be something you want to do. I don't know if, unless you really want to scuba or, or like, you may want to first test it there, go there for the day on a cruise instead of committing to a whole trip you don't, there. You don't maybe. need a scuba. I think there's a difference. So if for those of you that w- go in the water a lot, right. s- snorkeling, snorkeling is I should very say. easy. Scuba diving, you need to be certified. Right. So snorkeling is very easy. Um, I actually did that in Cozumel. I've done that in Hawaii. Snorkeling is amazing yeah, is. in and around the state of Florida, in the Gulf. It's fun. Um, but yeah. yeah, it's easy. Uh, you can see a lot of the um, the water life, the fish. It's it's pretty cool, uh, but that that's a great place to uh, to get in the water. Yeah, and the keys to it's seasonal again, again cost wise, right? Oh yeah, I'm sure. A lot of, yeah, it's very season. You could go there and it's a ghost town one week. The next week you go, it looks like Mardi Gras. I'm not kidding. Yeah, it goes from that extreme to that extreme. Right, right. right. So be aware of that. If you want a lot of party and action. Go when it's the season. If you want to go when it's very quiet, because it's really like that. All righty. Uh, that's all I got. Anything else about the beaches? Did we miss any here? No. No, we did the Keys, Coco, Seaside? Mm, seaside. I don't know what Seaside is. Yeah, I think, that, I think it's good. We're good. Let's wrap it up. All right. Thanks for uh, listening to the Rich Talenza Show, WTF, are you talking about? I think Rhea thoroughly went through a lot of beach towns. Mm-hmm. Thank you for doing that. Yeah, you're welcome. I've been wanting to do that with her for a long time. We're going to do California next. Uh, we're going to do probably just Southern Cal. But Rhea knows California very well. A lot better, uh, I would say. Uh, even though I live there, but geography, she's amazing with all these different type of things. So, All right, we're going to wrap it up there. If uh, Rhea, what's your Instagram? Rhea Lukes, L-O-E-K-S. Nice. And if you want, you could check out my YouTube channel. It's just my name, Rich Chalenza. I'm on LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook as well. So, all right, take care. And if you're traveling, safe travels.